So, the Denver Broncos, a couple of weeks ago, decided to name Drew Locke the starter. And ever since then, it looks like John Nedway has finally found his guy at QB. After several failed attempts at finding a successor, once Peyton Manning retired after winning the Super Bowl back in 2015, Denver and John Elway have struggled to find a consistent quarterback that could end up being a franchise guy. I mean, he went through Brock Osweiler, he had Paxton Lynch, you had Joe Flacco. I mean, this guy failed to find his franchise guy. And now it looks like he may have found that guy in Drew Locke. Now, the Denver Broncos traded up for Drew Locke this past draft. And they got him in the second round. And he got placed on IR due to an injury. They took him off IR a couple weeks ago. And he got the start versus the Chargers. And, I mean, he had a very nice debut. Then he beats the Texans, which they dom they blew out the Texans. I mean, they dominated the Texans. I did not see that coming. Well, to be honest, I wasn't really surprised that Houston lost. But I'm surprised that he got blown out. Now, in his first two starts, he's 2-0 as a starter. 443 passing yards, has tossed five touchdowns, only two interceptions, and has completed 71% of his passes. It looks like John Nelway may have finally found his guy. Finally. And Denver, it shows. Now that they have a legit quarterback back there, they're winning games. Denver has talent on the offense. It might not be nobody that really pops out to you. But Cortland Sutton is a very capable number one wide receiver. The offensive line is, and it's not terrible, but it's not great. And then you got Phillip Lindsay and Royce Freeman back there. And you got a very good defense. So, it looks like the Denver Broncos' future is looking very bright right now. It looks like John Elway may have finally found his quarterback of the future. And me, if you're an OG subscriber, you knew that I gave Drew Locke a hard time. I thought he had a lot of things he had to work on, footwork, accuracy. But it looks like Drew Locke, sitting in the first couple of weeks of this year's NFL season, not getting thrown into the fire week three, week four, it looks like it's paying off because he's looked very good, very impressive. He's completed, he's accurate, he's completed, he's completed 71% of his passes, only throwing two interceptions. I mean, Drew Locke was like a very different quarterback compared to what he was coming out of college. And that's good because that goes to show you how good this different Broncos coaching staff is that they were able to develop and work with Drew Locke and get him to the point now that he looks like a very doggone good starter right now. Because out of college, I mean, he had decision issues with his decision making. He wasn't accurate. The footwork was spotty. But now with Drew Locke, he looks like he's a completely... Different quarterback. Looks like he's did a completely big 360. Because this dude does not look like the same guy I saw in Missouri a year ago. So Drew Locke looks like the quarterback of the future for the Denver Broncos. And it looks like John Neway has finally found that guy at the quarterback position to lead this franchise. And it's took him long enough because you think with him being a Hall of Fame quarterback, you think he would know what a good quarterback or even an average quarterback looks like. And he has struggled to find that. So the Denver Broncos' future looks very bright right now. Drew Locke, since he's became the starter of the, Houston, of the Denver Broncos, 2-0 as a starter. 443 passing yards, 5 touchdowns, 2 interceptions, 71% completion percentage. Looks like the Denver Broncos' future is very bright. It looks like John Newey has finally found his guy at quarterback. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section down below. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel for more NFL videos and content. And thanks for watching.